It's not a cute little puppy. Na na na. Are you stupid? <laughs> Hi, hey, hello, welcome back to my channel, my name is Shelley and today I'm going to talk about the books that I read in January. Let's be honest with ourselves, I did not do a lot of reading. I did some, but I did not do a lot. Um, I did more than I did in December, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So, depending on how you look at it, I read a total of nine books. However, seven of those books were on audio and they were rereads. Um, but it was the first time I listened to them on audio, so yeah. I'm still going to count them as a total because, I mean, there's still seven books. <laughs> that was all part of my project audiobook that I'm sort of doing this year so uh, I will leave a link whichever side is the eye I I'm, I'm confused right now but I will leave a link in the eye and uh, down below so if you want to see what I'm talking about you can go ahead and do that um but the two physical books if you're doing the math here uh, the two physical books I actually read, um, I had started in um, 2021, um, but the first one being uh, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, which was our, Dis no, not December, it was our November book club pick for The Chaos Court. Um, yeah, I did not finish this in November, but I did finish it now, so... It's okay, it's okay. Um, I mean, we are kind of late with the live shows and stuff we're going to do for the book clubs. Um, um, but we're not talking about that right now. No, 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 no. We're not shaming ourselves right now. Things have happened. Life, you know. Uh, anyway, so this is the first in... Is this supposed to be a trilogy? Oh, I don't remember. It, anyway, it's the first book in the King Killer Chronicles. Um, basically, it's a story within a story, a story within with a story within the book. Because um, most of the book, we are like in present time. They are um, sitting down, and the main character is telling his life story. Moving on from this book, I'm. I'm very curious to see how uh, the the boy we hear about, because he's telling the story from his childhood up. Um, so I'm curious to see how the boy we're hearing about in his story uh, is going to become the man that's telling the story. Um, but I guess we're going to have to wait a while because, um, yeah, like the third book is not out yet and it's been like what 11 years yeah so because this is a story within a story um it it's kind of slow it's a slow read but it's like you know when you put like food to simmer on the stove it's kind of what this book feels like or felt like to me um it's like that slow simmering pot of something and you just know something very good is about to happen. Um, a lot of stuff happens in this book. I mean, it is a ha, chunky book, um, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs to like finish up this damn series because <sighs> Yeah, it. I, I feel like it's going to be a good one and somehow we're just going to be disappointed with the last book because it's going to be, feel like it's going to be like so hyped up in a way. Not like hyped up books are on booktube and bookstagram and stuff, but because we're waiting so long for this last book, I feel like we're just going to be disappointed at, at this time. 
we shall see when that comes. I do highly, highly recommend uh, this book. I will talk more about it when we actually do our live show. So I don't really want to, uh, I don't want to say too much now, but I do want to kind of wrap it up. I do highly, highly recommend this book though. So yeah. <laughs> Um, the next physical book that I actually finished in January was our December book club pick of the month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was a Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Crichton? Crichton? I should know this by now. I do keep saying different names, but yeah, who cares? Um, Jurassic Park. I mean... If you haven't heard or seen the dinosaur movies by now, where have you been? They're like a million of them by now. <laughs> They're even like a spin-off Jurassic World spin-off things. Yeah, why am I even talking about it anymore? <laughs> so this one is what the first movie uh, is based off of. Um, so we have all those same characters um, plus a few added characters I guess. It's been a while since I've seen the movie and I didn't want to watch the movie until I read this book. I may be remembering different things from the movie uh, but I grew up watching that movie. Love those movies. Yes, dinosaurs and it's also like what the fuck. <laughs> Um, so, the book. Um, since there is a movie of it, and I have seen the movie like 500 million times before I actually read the book, uh, I will be comparing the book to the movie. And I'm pretty sure most people have seen the movies, or at least heard of them in some sort of way, shape or form. Um, so, the book. The book and the movie, they have the same characters. They are slightly different in very, very many different ways. <laughs> they are different in, like, it's like there's two kids in a movie, a boy and a girl, and in the book, uh, there's also a boy and a girl, but uh, the boy is the oldest one and the girl is the youngest one. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit different and that that's that's just a slight slight difference. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really make much difference uh, as far as the story goes. I will say I, <laughs> so I absolutely loved this book. I mean, it is so much more gruesome than the movie, and I mean, the movie is kind of bloody in in its own way. Uh, but reading it. Wow, it's, yeah, you get a whole different picture in your head while you're reading a book than you're, you know, when you're watching the movie. Um, it's so, so good. It's so, so good. I mean, it is horrific, but then again, we know that the story of Jurassic Park is that these crazy humans have decided to clone dinosaurs and, you know, make them come alive again. That's basically the gist of Jurassic Park. And... Are you stupid? <laughs> you don't do that! I mean, who in their right minds decide that you're gonna create these ginormous killing machines really because it's not like the tiny tiny creatures it's not like there's it, it's not a little dog or something i mean a dog can be quite vicious as well but it's not a cute little puppy no 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 it's like several feet bigger than you wider than you it's gonna eat you the, the thing's mouth is bigger than you are Who would not think that these creatures might kill you if you create them? Why would you want an, like a zoo of dinosaurs? I mean, dinosaurs are wicked cool, but never in a million years 
would I decide, even if I had the means and all that, to, you know, create dinosaurs for fun, <laughs> for entertainment? Yes, I would like to see dinosaurs. But I would also not like to see dinosaurs, but I because I am 100% sure that they would kill me. And I don't want to die. But yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of things that I could say that's like wrong with the whole fact of Jurassic World. However, for entertainment purposes, yes, um, this is great. Uh, I do highly, highly recommend this book as well if you like dinosaurs and you like a bit of gore and shit. Uh, <laughs> read this book. If you like the movie, definitely read this book. Um, yes, yes. So happy we decided to read this book. So, yeah, I don't want to go on a tangent, but I kind of did anyway. <laughs> Um, so, a bit of a slow start to 2022, uh, we are okay with this, however, because I have, I was so busy with book missing stuff in December and, you know, life stuff that I didn't really have time to read. Uh, it, I've read very, very little. I've read like a couple of pages here and there, that's basically it. And that's not enough for a reader that wants to read like all the time. Um, however, I've caught up. I've did, I've read November's pick. I've read December's pick. Uh, now I just need to read January's pick, which I will do in February. <laughs> yeah, we're not behind or anything. I mean, Val and Katie, who I host the book club with, they're behind too. So I mean, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Um, yes, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we will do um, the live shows for these books soon. Uh, it's just been a bit of a mess, life, you know. We've all been sick <laughs> in different ways at different times and we kind of want to do them together. So, you know, you know, you know. So those were my reads for 2022? Yes, January 2022's um, reads. Uh, yeah. Could have done better, could have also not. <laughs> I did read two physical books and I did listen to seven audiobooks, so... I mean... And if you don't want to click the other... And if you don't want to go watch the video for uh, which audiobooks, I did read read, listen to the full Harry Potter set. Uh, so those are the seven books I listened to. There you go, there's your information. <laughs> I do kind of highly recommend also, if you want to read or listen to Harry Potter, um, go check out Stephen Fry's version because, yes. There you go. So, Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope it was short, I hope it was sweet, and uh, you know, until next time, take care, bye bye!